Carlos and just been had a just a just man that's trying to make it out here in Sacramento. <laughs> I used to, for example, I used to work at Circus City and then they shut down. Um, I didn't have a lot of money. Um, I was pretty much living paycheck to paycheck and then I just pretty much uh, lost the lost the apartment because I couldn't keep keep up paying for the rent. Um, it was it's just it got hard out there. I've been out uh, pretty much just out looking for jobs every day, and it's just it's been pretty tough. Did you go looking for a job today? Yes, I actually went out looking for a job, and then um, I actually had a nice little interview, and now I'm going to be working as a dishwasher, and I start Friday at a pretty much from. Two to two to seven. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna. I, I always said I was gonna make it, and now, you know, that goal is finally being net, met. So now it's time to set the next goal, and that's moving up. So you live two different lives. You live I like during the day. I lived a life as like I'm a, I'm a you know businessman. Live you know have a house. I say I have a house and all that, and I have my not house, my own apartment and all that, and just out there looking for the job. Then to the real world, this is where I stay. And you just can't, you can't, um, it's, it's weird, you gotta, it's just, in the society this day, uh, you have to, it's all about the looks and who, and the person, because if you tell someone that you're homeless, they're gonna think you're, like, do drugs or steal or you're a horrible person, but, no, that's not pretty much the truth of a lot of people. We're just people that used to have jobs that, unfortunately, had a niche in their life, and now we're just trying to move on up. You gotta stay strong in this world. You gotta, you can't, you can't be weak or bow down. You just gotta, you just gotta. If you have a goal, if you if you really have a goal, you can make it. it doesn't matter how how low you go, you can make it. You know, this is America. <laughs> Every time something would happen in my life, I'd have to come out here. But I've never lived in a tent. I've always had a motor home or a camper or. You know, this is the first time I've ever had to do this. <laughs> this is horrible. I never believed that I would be homeless. Oh, I can go put a roof on anywhere. Everything that goes up has got to have a roof on it. Well, what happens if they stop going up? Wow. Homelessness is not a disease. It's not something that discriminates. Not everybody out there are drug addicts. Not everybody out there are dope fiends and all that are bad guys. There's some very intelligent people out there. And, and you know, we all just had a stroke of bad luck. You know, we got caught up in the downfall. You know, my life's not well and wonderful, but it's a whole lot better than what it used to be. Now that I've been in housing, I'm able to, I'm a, I'm a student at City College, okay? I'm active in the community now. I mean, I do do volunteer work. I'm still going through some healing. I'm still going through some psychological things that I have to put past behind me. I mean, you know, I lived in, in, in conditions that I never thought I'd ever live in, you know. I went to from $27 an hour, you know what I mean, living in a home, a house, and cars, the kids, and all that, I mean, you know, and to the point where I was out there in a tent. There was times, and I'm not going to lie, I'll be perfectly honest with you, there were times when I was just about to say, well, well, forget it. Just forget it. Today is what you have. Tomorrow is what you search for. What you do today will reflect tomorrow. If you give up today, there's no hope. But without hope, there is no tomorrow. Make today the best day. Trying to do something about all of this would be significant. Trying to deal with these issues would be significant. We need to reinvent this economy, but until we do, we need a place for people to go. I just assumed, as a citizen, that there was a place for people to go. And I just assumed it was legal for people to camp. And it's not. Yeah. We served our country. Yeah. Yeah. We want it back. Yeah. And what I'm wondering is why we can't lock arms as a bigger community in Sacramento or California or the United States so that we can let people know that you're not going to fall through the cracks and fall off the face of the earth, that I'm going to notice and that we're going to help one another through this. We don't want to believe that we're a culture 
that has that level of brokenness as part of us. So many people are hungry for someone to listen to them and to be in community with. It would not only help people who are homeless, but it would transform Sacramento.